Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Chief Naka from Electronic Warfare Studios. I'm joined by uh, Discorpion. Uh, we're here to talk. We're we're here with another segment of Late to the Party, and um, we're going to be talking about Skate Three. Um, it's uh, basically it came out probably about two years ago or so. Um, it's one of those games that we've been playing that I've been playing on and off for the better part of those two years. Um, and Scorpion just recently got it. Um, mainly, mainly he got it just for the online play, which uh, which we just do really idiotic stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Whereas I, whereas I actually bought it for the story mode and for the online. So, um, so just kicking it off. I mean, what what kind of what features did you? I mean, outside of the online play and stuff like that, did did you dig? Well, you know, I mean, I'm like I've always said, I'm big on customization, and you know, this is one of those games that uh, that didn't let down. You know, it like you can go online and uh, you know do your drawings online, whatever you want to do on there, and then you can download them to your game. You know, the tools aren't like it's not like you can create something then 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 put it in there. You actually have to use the, the tools that they provide, but they're pretty extensive and they provide a lot of you know templates and stencils and stuff like that. So I thought it was kind of cool that you were able to do that. I mean, you know, I like my little pig, so I was able to make him <laughs> with just simple shapes. And then I brought him into the game. I thought it was pretty cool to be able to have him on there. And, I mean, just besides that, I mean, you're even your character, customizing your character, you know, his colors that he's wearing. You know, it's pretty cool because you, you kind of have your, your dude that looks like you and it sort of makes it feel a little bit more at home, I guess. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, definitely along that lines. I mean, it's it's one of those uh, one of those items that I I particularly particularly enjoyed. Um, it it is somewhat of a change from Skate Two, um, whereas with the story the story mode was basically based off of one off of one skater, yep. and you're trying to build up your career. Whereas um, in Skate Three, you you're basically playing as a um, as a as a as a skate mogul quote unquote and then you build up your again quote unquote team um to to kind of take over and become basically mega millionaire type type skaters like uh i.e like a rob deer deck or something <laughs> like that um uh, you know story mode is very extensive uh, again you know much like skate 2 um, you can't. You they have a lot of the they have a lot of the challenges and things like that, like um, like the street contests and the uh, and the uh, big air contests or what they what they call tranny contests, <laughs> yep. like transition contests. Um, <clears throat> they have those as well as like photo shoots and video and you know video slots and things like that as well. Um, you know I've. I've gone through. I, it took me. It, it was a pretty long playing campaign, considering um, because you because you had to kind of build up your team. You had to make your own characters and everything like that. Um, probably one of the neater features, actually, like when you're playing on your own. Uh, sometimes your skaters that you created will show up in the game along with you. Yeah, kind of cool. So I mean, um, and even like your friends. Yeah, your friends will say you can even like I have. I was skating one time, and all of a sudden you showed up, and I was like, "What the yeah. crap? Like, yeah. how's he on my game?" But it was just like I guess the AI that was taking on your character. Right. Exactly. So I mean, um, overall very, uh, overall very fun <laughs> game. Um, you know, a couple things that uh, that I maybe just have more of a minor annoyance about um, is more or less just um, uh, at least in the online mode. Is the navigation of the menus, but um, because yeah, I mean, Scorp can attest to this. I inadvertently <laughs> cut out of a session real early just now, so so yeah, I just cut out of a session because I didn't because I didn't didn't read the menu correctly or didn't read the options correctly on the menu. So um, I, outside of that, I mean, EA, you know, as usual, makes makes a great game. I mean. Um, it, you know, it, was it worth sixty bucks? Eh, probably not. I mean, if you could pick it up in the bargain bin, it's, you know, yeah, it's I, like twenty bucks you, now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like, because I paid. The only reason why I say that is because I paid sixty bucks for it. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that just me. Really late to the party for this. One. Yeah, yeah. So, so Squirt got the deal out of it. Hopefully. Uh, oh yeah, not totally. I mean, for twenty bucks, I mean. For as much as time as I've played online goofing off. And like I said, I didn't really buy it for the story. Even though I've played a little bit of the story and it's really cool, the extensiveness of it. But, uh, you know, I just got it to, to go online and, and 
since I, I can't skate with or flip them in real life. Um, you know, it's fun to get on and just act a fool on here. I mean, if you actually want to go in here and try to do some real tricks and stuff like that, you can do that. If you want to get on here and break every bone in your body, you can do that. You know what I'm saying? You can race. You can, you know, I mean, you, there's a lot of stuff you can do. I think it's, you know, it's one of those, like, it's like the skating version of Grand Theft Auto or, you know, yeah. 3. You know, it's like an open world. Do whatever the heck you feel like doing. You want to play it for real? That's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. You know, it's you can get lost in it either way. And uh, I just love the uh, the different maps that they have on here. I think that's cool because I mean you can get really tired of one map really quickly, but they have quite a variety. The only one thing that I wish they kind of had, and this is just being nitpicky, is like when you're choosing your maps, it shows you like a map overview, but. I wish, like, whenever you select a location, like, it would give you some sort of preview or something. Okay. Right. Because like, unless you memorize it, you're, you're like, what is this again? Like, which one? Yeah. yeah and, I, and I didn't think a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of it, too, was that they kind of thought that, oh, people will be playing this a lot, so they'll just remember the maps, which, uh, I mean, if you're anything like us, where we where we pick it up and it's like oh you know let's i feel like playing skate or something like that and then it's like you go where's that one map with the yeah, pipe and like, like you know that we were going through <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's like where's that one map again i don't know so you know you're transporting teleporting 50 different times because you're trying to find this one yep. map so um but yeah i mean overall uh, you know it's a it's a good game you know i haven't heard any plans for like skate four Mm-hmm. or anything like that coming around but um you know i think uh think maybe ea is just kind of trying to cut budgets or whatever but uh but i mean it's, a, it's definitely a worthwhile game i mean it's it's stand it's standing the test of time overall because i mean with most people who um who buy games probably attention span wise i mean outside <laughs> of like your call of duties and you know grand theft autos and same throw um you'll you tend to kind of get more of a um <clears throat> more of a like a maybe a six months yeah max that type of thing but i mean like you still see a lot of uh, players online on skate three oh, um, yeah. at least in the last time i went over went through and actually played like a public room which uh, no yeah that's the hit and miss <laughs> thing too <laughs> yeah exactly that i think so uh, um, for 60 bucks i don't me personally because like i said i'm not a big I'm not a huge skate follower. Like I don't follow the skaters. I don't follow the X. Like I'm not like big into that. Um, so I don't think I would have paid 60 bucks. I think the most I would have paid for this was maybe 30, 40 bucks at the most. And that's because right. I have you to play along with. If I didn't have anybody to play along with, I probably wouldn't even bought the game. Game with. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. I got but, hooked on too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but 20 bucks, you know, I, I, without a doubt, it's worth it. And I think that's what retail is brand new it's not this isn't used copies i've seen them yeah. retail for 20 bucks so yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I, I would definitely recommend it if you're even if you're not a skater i'm like i'm not a skater so but i still found this uh game pretty pretty fun you know i, I mean i like doing the tricks but also like goofing off so 20 bucks is a steal for for the good especially if you have friends to play with so. oh yeah definitely I, and i'll agree with that assessment too i mean it's definitely a good pickup um you know you if even if if you're not really a huge fan of skateboarding or anything like that i mean it's it's fun if nothing else just a good good way to waste some time <laughs> a good way to waste some time on a on a friday night or something so um so yeah with that said um any additional thoughts sir no i just like really breaking bones on here it's, it's <laughs> fun just throwing myself off a building and ragdolling yeah. it all the way down so yeah exactly all right well uh with that with that um we thank you very much for joining us on this uh review this late to the party discussion um you know again again we are on we're on you you're seeing us on youtube but uh we're also on twitter tumblr facebook uh again always backslash eWarfare Studios. And also, don't forget to visit us on the web at www.eWarfareStudios.com. Later.